Today's episode, we compare Kawachon with Mini Golden Doodle and look at their differences and similarities. So, let's start with grooming difference. The Kawachon is slightly easier to groom because he will only need brushing 2 to 3 times a week to keep his wavy coat healthy and manageable. Although the Mini Golden Doodle often has a hypoallergenic coat, they still need to be groomed. Most owners get their Golden Doodle coat trimmed every 8 to 12 weeks. You can, of course, let it grow longer, but you will need to be brushing it more frequently to prevent knots, tangles and mats. The Kawachon parent, the Bichon Frise, and the Golden Doodle parent, the Poodle, are both hypoallergenic dogs. And as such, many breeders will try and pitch Kawachons and Mini Golden Doodle as hypoallergenic also. Number 2. Appearance Difference Both the Kawachon and the Mini Golden Doodle are small dogs. The Kawachon may yield 13 inches or less in height from paw to shoulder and weigh between 15 to 20 pounds. The miniature Golden Doodle looks like a little teddy bear. They can stand between 14 to 17 inches tall and can weigh between 15 to 30 pounds. Because of their small size, they are much better suited to smaller houses. Number 3. Temperament Difference The Kawachon and the miniature Golden Doodle are very similar with generally one main difference between them. That being that, the Kawachon is more of laid back pup as both of his parents are particularly laid back. Whereas the miniature Golden Doodle with his poodle parent is particularly energetic and bouncy. There are two main points to consider here. The first being that the miniature Golden Doodle is more suited to an active family, as the poodle being a traditional working dog needs to be exercised and work, whereas the Kawachan is happy in a more peaceful environment. Secondly, as the mini Golden Doodle is more energetic, it is suggested by many owners that he will suit a family with slightly older children, who are not likely to be accidentally knocked over by their bounciness. Number 4. Exercise Difference the miniature Golden Doodle is much more energetic than the Kawachons, and so as a medium energy dog, he will need to around 60 to 90 minutes of exercise a day, and he will also need mental stimulation throughout his day to stop him from becoming too bored. And the Kawachon, however, is a low energy pup, who will need up to 30 minutes of exercise, and he is quite happy to snuggle and snooze for the remainder of the day. This is a big factor if you are deciding between these two breeds. If you are not particularly active family then the Kawachons will be the better suited pup and the Mini Golden will be much happier with an active family. Number 6. Food and Diet Difference The major Golden Doodle is an active breed and this means they need to be eaten quite a lot of food a day. It is recommended that this dog eats roughly 500 to 900 calories per day which is around 1 to 2 cups of cable a day. And the Kawachan should be fed 2 times a day and only need about 1 cup of food each day depending on their weight and activity level. You should give them a feed specifically for small breeds. They should be low in fat and calories to avoid any excessive weight gain. They should have a medium amount of protein in their diet to support their moderate exercise levels. Number 6. Training Difference these dogs are very agreeable and love to please their owners. Because of this wonderful traits, the Kawachons are extremely easy to train. These happy pups can be sensitive to harsh punishment. So it is vital that you only use positive reinforcement when you train your pup. Kawachons respond much better to love and treats than harsh criticism. The Kawachons are very food oriented. But you must limit the number of treats you give them or they will quickly become obese. And the mini golden noodle will need at least an hour of exercise and playtime each day. Preferable in a fence yard so she can run around. She will likely love playing fetch and other games that provide mental stimulation. Number 7. Health Issues Of course, Genetic disorders in mixed breed dogs are not eliminated entirely simply because they are mixed breeds. So you have to accept that your pup at some point will experience a health issue. However, the Kawachon will prone to following health issues. And the mini golden noodle is prone to following health issues. 
Number 8. Price Comparison The average price of Kavachon puppy starts from $800, whereas the price of mini golden doodles starts from $1200. The miniature golden doodle is priced higher because he is in more demand and may be more popular. Number 9. Lifespan The average lifespan of miniature golden doodle is 14 to 15 years and the average lifespan of Kawachon is 10 to 15 years.